Finding the right PDF software for iPadOS and iOS is difficult. You want something mobile that's both complex and able to accomplish advanced features like annotation and signing, but you also want it to be easy and intuitive. So how do you choose? That's exactly what this video is about. We're comparing the top three PDF editing apps, helping you choose which one is right for you. All of these apps have the basics like opening PDFs, printing, save as, and read only views, but I'm gonna take you through what's different about each of these apps and include a checklist at the end of the video for reference. So use the chapters below to navigate to that. So starting with PDF Element, this one comes at a 4.4 star rating on the App Store and reaches the top charts in productivity. Importing a document is as easy as tapping the plus button, giving you the ability to import a PDF, Word document, or Excel doc, or create one from scratch. When you create a document, you have access to a variety of formats from blank page, lined, grid, dotted, graph, and music, and it also includes the ability to change your page size and orientation. You can also choose to import files directly from your Files app for easy access, and you can also merge multiple PDFs as well. Opening this document, you can see the PDF element did a great job of taking complex software like an editor and splitting it into three sections so you only see what you need to when you're commenting, editing text, or handling images. Then you've got search, page view, bookmarks, and comments, and then the more tab. You can see in this document, it's already picking up and converting text boxes immediately on import. So you can click to edit the text, adjust and resize, or you can change the alignment and color. Also, importing and editing images is really intuitive as well. One thing I found really cool here is the intuitive gestures. So you can see as I swipe, it can automatically create a new page for me. And I thought that was a really cool use of gestures. Also a unique feature that I love are these automated stamps you can place, which can automatically pull in things like date and time or simply flags like sign here. And speaking of signing, by the way, it's really easy to create signatures as well by clicking signature and then signing using your trackpad, pencil, or screen. And speaking of that Apple Pencil, Apple Pencil support is built in and you can scribble to add text and then erase by scribbling it out. So overall, PDF Element gives you everything you need in a basic PDF editor. The one thing I would say that it's actually missing is the ability to add links to text and images. This is something I personally missed while using it, and I assume others will too. Now what's unique to PDF Element, and I haven't seen this on any other apps by the way, is the ability to add your own custom watermark. So by clicking add watermark, you can choose text or image, simply enter your text and it automatically overlays across the document. And then you can change the color or the opacity or tile it across the whole document. For what's technically a mobile app, I think this is a really great feature to have. Once you're done with the document, you can save it as a PDF or another really powerful option is to convert the PDF into a variety of formats. Again, not something I would expect from a mobile app, but it's really handy to have on the go. Now, some of the limitations of PDF Element, and by the way, most other PDF editors out there, except for Adobe, is the ability to edit forms and signature fields. I know the desktop version of this app does allow signing, so it would have been nice to see this transfer over to iPad, but ultimately, if you're looking for signature editing, you'd likely have a signature signing service like Adobe or DocuSign anyway. Next, we've got Adobe PDF. And opening here, you can see a very clean interface very similar to PDF element where we can hit the plus button to get started. Only here we have the ability to scan directly from the camera, edit, create from scratch or combine files. Opening the same document for comparison here, you can see it fills the screen and gestures don't work right away to zoom out. For that you need to click into the view settings and choose continuous scroll, single page or two pages. With single page you can pinch to zoom but to go to the next page, you have to swipe to the right, which I found not as intuitive as I wanted it to be. Just like on PDF Element, it recognizes the text fields and boxes. It seems to do a better job at editing text boxes as you can see it recognizes the two different fonts here and puts them into two separate boxes. And this one also lets you edit text and images by clicking the pencil icon, though this seems like an extra step versus PDF Element. But editing text and images works relatively the same with native keyboard and pencil support. The unique abilities that Adobe has over most PDF apps out there, like I said, is the built-in signing and collaborative tools. So you can see it's easy to request a signature, adding each recipient, choosing the signing order and whether they sign or CC, and then selecting the fields and then sending it out. This is a really incredible tool to have on an iPad without needing something like DocuSign. Adobe also has a more extensive collaboration component to have online comments and replies, similar to something you see on OneDrive or Google Docs. And these features combine 
make Adobe the ultimate tool for signing and collaboration, but still feels laggy in terms of the general UI. There aren't many limitations to the Adobe PDF app, making it one of the most extensive apps out there, but it would be nice to see the inclusion of things like adding watermarks that we saw on the PDF element app, creating badges, or redacting information on the go. Overall, it's one of the more premium apps to have, but at a relatively high cost, I can see why some people would look for alternatives. And speaking of the alternatives, we've got PDF Expert. This one's by the makers of Spark Email App, which I've personally been using for years. Opening the PDF, you can see probably the best looking UI out of all PDF editors in terms of rich, high quality icons and thoughtful layout. You have full gesture support, including continuous scrolling, pinch to zoom, and when editing pages, you can simply rotate with gestures. At the top, you've got these four tabs based on specific actions, annotation, edit PDF, fill and sign, and then export. Now that all seems relatively basic, but with the plus button, you can see even more tool drawers that you can drag into view and eliminate those things that you don't need. But that also includes a favorites bar where you can add your own custom tabs of actions. The viewing experience is easy, but you also get some quality of life viewing options like a day and night reading mode. They don't always work perfectly as you can see here, inverting some of the colors, but it's still nice to have this built right in. Editing fields is similar to most other platforms, but also comes with the ability to link to a page or to the web and redact items as well. In terms of collaboration, you can add notes and highlights to PDFs in the annotation tab, and then in the sidebar, you can see all of your annotations and export a summary of them for an easy summarized view. Filling and signing is the same as other platforms with the addition of a customer signature, which is a one-time signature that won't be stored making it much more secure. And similar to PDF Element, you have stamps, and they can also pull in date and time and other variable items, making it really easy to edit. There's also a presentation mode built in that allows you to walk through a PDF over FaceTime, and it's details like this that make you realize that this was built for iOS and iPadOS specifically. When you're done with your document, you can export to a variety of formats, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, text, and image, you can also reduce the file size for easier sending through email. So overall, PDF Expert is a great app to use, but to compare all of these apps together, I've got a chart that summarizes all of this up. Similarities between all of them include basic functionality like importing existing PDFs and documents, reading and viewing documents. They all have basic editing functionality as well, including add and edit text and images, bookmark, native keyboard and Apple Pencil support, notes and comments, where Adobe PDF really shines is in its ability to do live collaboration and comments within a document, and then the ability to send documents for signing, including setting the signing order, and that makes it a competitor to DocuSign on top of already being a PDF editor. PDF Expert is the top choice overall for UI and design with customization options that let you choose your layout and tools. PDF Element is a well-balanced option that remains competitive against the other two at a much lower price. And in terms of pricing, by the way, Adobe comes in at the most expensive rate of $92.99 per year, PDF Expert is slightly less at $69.99 per year, and then PDF Element is a much more affordable solution at $29.99 a year. Now that's an extensive breakdown of the top iPad PDF solutions out there, but for a simplified overall recommendation, if you need to sign and collaborate, go with Adobe. If you want the prettiest UI, go with PDF Expert. But if you want a well-balanced editor that has everything that you'd expect, plus watermarking, batch conversion, and document sharing, go with PDF Element. If I left anything out during testing, or if you have any questions deciding between each of the solutions, drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to get to that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.